guys. Good morning. Yeah, it's not morning, but <clears throat> it's, it's kind of morning. Um, okay. So last night I, <laughs> I did the, I did a happy mail video and my intention was to do another video, kind of like a part two on the series of journals that I'm working on, but I fell asleep. I totally fell asleep. I got everything all set up and then I think I had an ice cream sandwich and then I fell asleep anyway. <laughs> so I'm awake now and I want to do this because I want to get back to these, but I wanted to show you guys kind of where I'm at with them. And um, yeah, so if anybody is trying to sort of follow along or make something similar, you know exactly, you know, what I've done, you know, anyway. Um, but I got a little happy mail today and I thought I would just show you guys really quick. This is from Sue and Sue has been incredibly inspirational to me um, as far as the UV resin. Like she's the one that sent me the little, um, these little charms that she did with UV resin and kind of got me on that sort of rabbit trail, right? Um, but look at, she made one of those little envelopes. And this is um, an eco die that she scanned, that, that she made, that she scanned and, uh, and printed. Isn't that cool? I love this paper, Sue. I want to know what kind of paper that is that you printed that on. It's really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, so she did this little guy for me. And I was like, oh, it's so cool when you're, when you see that, you know, people say that, that you inspire them, but it's really cool to actually see that you, that you did. So, um, so thank you so much. This is really, really sweet. So these are kind of like the little, um, like the French, um, collaged envelopes that I did. And look at, isn't this gorgeous? Look at her eco dye. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. So now I'm inspired <laughs> and since it's almost spring, I'm getting, I'm getting like amped up to maybe do some, some eco dyeing myself. So anyway, so she sent me a really cute little letter and look at, she just filled it with all this yummy stuff and it's kind of Frenchy, you know? So look at, she did a little seed specimen in there that almost looks like a, well, I have some seed, I'm a seed saver. I've been saving seeds for, for like forever. So now I'm inspired to actually do some of these with seeds. Um, I've seen people do them before, you know, but I don't know, like, yeah, I want to make some. <laughs> so anyways, it's really, really pretty. And she did some stamping and stuff and, and made these gorgeous little specimens. So I don't know if Sue has an Etsy shop or, or what, but if, if you don't Sue, you should, um, because these are beautiful. Look at, she did some embossing on this postcard and then inked it up, um, a little, little tag with, um, some botanical stuff printed on vellum over, a looks like it's, you know, some kind of botanical book page. And I love this little tag. It's so cute. Look at the little, the little tall tag and then a little scrappy pocket with a label. Super cute. Super, super cute. Um, and then she sent me some more flashcards, some French uh, flashcards, and then just some gorgeous different, you know, papers and stuff. Because I love doing this. This is, this is sort of how I did mine, where I just added some other little papers, you know in the envelope that that you could write on and so it's almost like a little portable supply pack and then she did the um, library pocket on the inside again and it looks like this was actually eco dyed um and then look at this cute little specimen so cute with a little pansy and then some more french uh flash cards super cool i need more of these I think I'm going to check, I'm going to check eBay today and, uh, and get some, get some more French, uh, flashcards. Cause I just, I don't know. I have a thing for them. I have a couple different ones, but, um, you can always use more and then some playing cards. And then this really cute little, um, it's a little, little piece of a, um, like a postcard, uh, with the stamp. And then it still has the, 
like plastic on it. I have a feeling this is exactly how she got this. So that was really cool. Yeah. And then she did the little string closure and stuff. So just beautiful. Thank you so much, Sue. Really very thoughtful and, and, and neat to see um, somebody else's expression of, of something that, um, that I had made that inspired them. So, so thank you. I appreciate it very much. Um, okay. So where am I at with the, uh, with the project, the project? Um, <clears throat> okay. So here's what I've done. I basically took all of the elements that are going to go into as far as the pockets and stuff that are going to go into these journals and I did I did them up like each element okay so I decided I'm not really going to alter this uh, this bag too much um, so it just you know starts out this way and then I fold it in half so I know where the halfway is and then I cut it across the top and then just notched out um, on, you know, in the center. And I've been notching, you know, both sides because I want the envelope to be accessible from either side. If if you want to do something like that and you don't want to notch it on both sides, because the idea is that it makes it easier to access the pocket, right? But you know, I don't know. I just I just figure, you know, you can you can open it, you can figure it out. <laughs> it's not too hard. Um, so I decided not to alter these really, except for that little cut across the top. So these are all done pretty much. I just have to trim those. Um, and then I did, these are not completely finished, but this is how these are turning out. This is the larger craft envelope that I kind of cut down a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'll notch this right here. Okay. And then I'll probably notch it relatively deep so that I can put a tag in there that has like a like a tab on it. So you can see the tab sticking out above that. So I haven't actually totally finished these. And I think I'm going to do these with magnets. Okay. So I have a lot, a lot of work still to do on these. Um, and then what else did I do? Okay. So these are the envelopes that are going to go on this side of the journal and those are just going to get glued in place so I haven't glued them in yet because I'm going to attach the book plates somewhere around this area okay and I'm going to do that with eyelets and um, obviously I don't want to put the eyelets through this envelope so I need to wait until I put the book plates on um, before I attach these. Okay. So what I did on these was I rounded the corners, um, on the, the part where it's going to be open. I rounded them with the half inch corner rounder because I'm trying to keep that consistent throughout the whole journal. So I rounded the corners with the half inch on the covers. And then I just wanted to do that on, on all of the, the elements, um, so yeah, so that's, so it's open slightly on the ends, right? And I just think that gives it more flexibility and like you can put a little bit more in there because it's slightly, it, it's got a little bit of a gap on the end, you know? So anyway, so that's what I did on those. I haven't inked them all yet, but I do plan to do quite a bit of inking on stuff and also um, distressing with the sandpaper. Um, and I did, I did do all of the little, these are the little coin envelopes. Um, I just, uh, glued some type of decorative paper on the front. Okay. And then I cut the flap off, did my little notch, and then I actually used my sandpaper to round off those little edges. Okay, so I just used my sandpaper like that and rounded those off. Okay, and then I did the corner rounder. Um, I used the quarter inch uh, rounder on these because they're so small. Um, 
and it doesn't seem to make too much difference down here on this corner even though you know it does kind of cut through it but you know it's not that big a deal we're just going to be putting paper in there so um yeah so that's what i did with those um and these are going to get glued in place okay so these are going to get glued down onto something i'm not sure exactly where but um so i made sure i did two for for each one um hang on guys i don't know where it is look in my room it might be um anyway so i'm gonna do i did two of these little coin envelopes for each journal um and then the library pockets i also rounded with the half inch and then I went around each one and just kind of distressed with the sandpaper. Um, I didn't want to use the, the um, distressing tool because I didn't really want it to be super raggedy on the edges. I just wanted to kind of rough up the edges so that when I go to ink it, it actually grabs the ink really nice and um, sort of like penetrates into the paper better. So, so I did one short one and one, you know, taller one for each journal. Um, and then this is the six by nine and or the six by nine craft bag. Um, this pretend that's not there. Pretend you didn't see that. It's right there, Sammy. There you go. Sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Sammy's putting together my mom's uh, new bed frame, so he couldn't find the drill. Sorry, guys. And I don't know how to edit this stuff, so you're just going to have to live with it. Um, anyway, so I just glued some paper on the entire back side of this bag, and then I'm just leaving it plain on the front side, and then I just did some stitching around uh, three sides, and then I cut the I cut this end off. Not sure if I'm going to notch this or not. I kind of don't think I will. I think I'm just going to leave it and I might add like a tab on there or something just to sort of make it easier for you to open it. So yeah. <clears throat> so those are the six by nine bags. And then let's see, what did I do on these? Or what am I going to do on these? Oh, <laughs> okay. So I did do a magnet in the hole so there's a hole on this side of this um of this envelope right so that these can go through the hole the little the little deals you know um anyway so the magnet lines up perfect if you just put it in that hole um and then i kind of you know um sealed it sealed it with a little piece of um, fabric tape or paper tape and then just covered the front and the back um, this is some printed collage that I did. And then um, this is just like scraps of different ephemera and stuff on the on the outside. And then I started doing some stitching around the edges of, of each one of these. Um, not sure if I'm going to do all of them, though. I haven't decided. I sort of like it just like this. Um, and then I, I went around the edges with a little bit of the, with the sandpaper a little bit because I do want to, to ink around the edges of those so I have lots of inking to do and the magnet seems to be working pretty well um, just you know onto that little that little metal piece if you don't have if you don't have those on your envelopes then use um, as a, a, a viewer suggested you can use a little washer like a little steel washer um, or you just use another magnet right there and then just add a little circle to cover it up or whatever so yeah, but this seems to be working pretty well. And if you need to know, um, <clears throat> I get magnets on Amazon. And um, where'd they go? Of course, I lost them. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description to the magnets that I get. They're actually a pretty good deal. You get like two pack 
for less than ten dollars so it's it's a pretty it's a pretty good deal and i get five millimeter ones and ten millimeter ones so anyway so little magnets on those and then i'll just be cutting the just the ever so slightly trimming the very edge of this off because i want to retain as much of that um airmail you know coloring as i can okay so that's how those are going to be finished and then I think I am going to attach the shorter library pocket on the on the front of these, but I don't want to cover up the, the airmail words. Okay, so that's those. And then I wanted to have another pocket that was on the cover. And so I have this blank area on the back. And so I just cut some strips of the collage that I did with just the plain blank papers. And um, I did scan those, by the way. So um, I should have those at some point um, digitally, but in my shop. But um, yeah, so I just did like a three by seven strip and then I just hand cut that curve. And then I've actually glued these down after I stitched around the whole cover. So I did some stitching around the whole outside and then I'm going to come back and actually do some stitching along these, uh, the, the spines. Okay. So I'm just going to do a straight, maybe a zigzag here and then a zigzag here, which will catch that. Okay. And then I might go ahead and just, you know, stitch that again across the bottom of the pocket and then, um, you know, just go up and then back down again. So you know, that'll probably take half an hour to do all of them. Um, so yeah, so I thought that turned out pretty cool and then rounded all of the corners and stuff. So, and then I'm going to ink all of these and, um, thank God I have a ton of re-inkers for my vintage photo. So, okay. So those are all the elements and, and those are, you know, that's basically how those are going to be. Um, but like I said, I have lots of inking to do. So I have all of these off cuts from, you know, the larger collage pieces that I did to make the covers. I had all of these off cuts and, you know, since I love this paper, like I want to do something with them. So what I wound up doing was stamping label shapes on, um, so see these are on on this on this paper so I wound up stamping label shapes on these strips and for some reason these ones were sort of hidden underneath a pile of stuff and so I didn't actually get those done but I think what I'll do is um, come back and stamp on these with the blue with the blue ink and maybe some with the green and um, I could I could maybe do a couple of those um, yeah. Oh, and then I did do a whole bunch of different labels, um, on the collage pieces that I printed. So these are the label stamps that, you know, I, I got from Signet Stamps and, um, and I think it works really well with that collage, uh, background, you know, they just, I don't know. I think they look neat. And, um, yeah. So like I said, I'm trying to get that listed in my shop, that sort of plain, um, you know, collage paper, you know, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Um, it's sort of like a background, like a collage base. Um, and then some of the other ones that you guys may remember seeing. So yeah, so one night I just sat in bed and cut out all of these labels. So I have tons. So I'm going to be putting tons of labels in these, in these journals. Um, the ones that are printed uh, are, you know, done on the, um, the file folder. Um, I could probably use those as little tuck spots in the, in the journal too, because they're so stiff. And then also I thought, you know, they'd be cute to just make them into a little dangle, like a charm. So I could put a little eyelet in there and, and hang it with a piece of chain or something, or, you know, a, um, uh, jump ring. 
So, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, so I thought I would just kind of assemble a couple of these signatures and just give you guys an idea of what, you know, my process is for that. And um, maybe glue some of these pieces on. Um, so this is, I'll, I won't do that one because that was sort of like my prototype. Um, so this is kind of what I would do if I, when I'm making all of these journals, I would lay out, I would just set out all my, my stacks of all my elements and I would try to put them in the order that they're going to go in the journals. So that just makes, that just makes it a lot easier. So these aren't going in signatures, neither are those, but these are, so these need to get folded. These need to all be folded in half. Okay, so then those are going to go there, I think. And then I've got some other envelopes that I think I'm going to use in the center of my signatures. I think I have enough of these airmail envelopes to, to do just about all of them. If not, I can do one folded in half or something. Anyway, so that's just basically what my process is, you know. Um, I still need to do some work on these, so I'm not going to do all of them right now. But, <clears throat> oh, so this actually goes there. Um, so then this one, no, not that one. So that one, and then this one, and then this one. And then this is going to get uh, stitched into the center of the signature. So it's going to go like that. Okay, so that's basically my envelope signature. And then I will come in and glue this on here. Might glue this, I might glue these onto those before I assemble everything. Um, and then I will take two of these and I'll just tuck them inside there. And then one of these is going to go with each one. Um, and then I'll just bundle these together. So these are all going in the same journal, right? And then there's one of the large ones. So that's, you know, that's how I kind of keep track of how thick things are getting and um you know if i need to add more to a signature or something but just remember that i'm going to be filling all of these pockets with stuff so like with ephemera and whatnot so you know i don't want to i don't want to make them too thick because i want you to still be able to close the journal so temporarily it's just going to go like that and then i will choose one of these book plates to go on each one and then uh, so that's probably going to be my next step is to put the book plates on so why don't we just do that on one of these I know I I, I always feel like I'm like I'm organized and then when I go to make a video, it seems like I'm just all over the place. But I just kind of wanted you guys to see that that's sort of what my process is. I do all of one element and then move on to the next element, you know. And then when all those elements are done, then I do the assembly. And I will, you know, put them out in stacks like that. So, yeah, so that is going to be my next step is, is putting the book plates on because I want to be able to glue, um, I want to be able to glue this pocket on, you know, <clears throat> and I can't do that until I get the book plate on. So let's see, where do we want to put this? So somebody commented that maybe I could just give you the book plate and you could put it on wherever you want, but. The way I want to do these, um, I don't think that'll work. So, you know, I, I, 
I'm trying to just put it somewhere that it's not going to necessarily um, cover up anything that's, you know, interesting. Um, but I do need to keep it in that, like, quadrant or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to stick it right there. I like it right there. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to take a pen and make a nice mark on there so I know exactly where to punch my holes. And then I'm going to use the big bite. Now, you don't have to use the big bite. You could use, um, like, if you have another way of setting eyelets, you know, you could just punch those out with an awl. It, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, done with a special tool. So I'm just punching those holes. And then I need to make sure that... Yeah, this is on the right setting. So I'm using the smaller eyelets. And um, whoops, that was my spray bottle. The ones that I'm almost out of. Man, I really need to get some more eyelets. Um, okay. So then I'll put that through there. And then through this hole. Oh, whoops. I forgot something. I do want to add some glue behind that. Just to sort of help tack it down. Now, these are not going to lay perfectly flat. Um because I did the resin in there, it it's not extremely flexible anymore. And that's okay. Like that doesn't, you know, that doesn't bother me at all. So I wanted to add some glue there. Just enough to hold down the center. Okay. And then push that up. And tack that, tack that down. See, that works pretty well. Um, and then, you know, with the glue also, that's a little extra assurance that these are going to, these are going to stay put. Okay, so that's, that's that. And um, yeah, so now I can glue that pocket on. So that's going to go right there. I'm going to use the uh, art glitter glue to glue those on. Just want to make sure that I get I get that front edge really well. And of course, you know, you could glue just like three sides of this envelope if you wanted to create another pocket. But I'm just going to do it like this because I already have two pockets on the front and I think that's plenty. So I'm going about maybe an eighth of an inch from the spine, actually about a quarter of an inch from the spine. Cause I am still going to stitch here. Um, and I don't necessarily want to stitch over that pocket again, but if I do accidentally stitch across that pocket again, it's not going to be a huge deal. So yeah, so this glue is going to hold this down really well. Here. So now we have the book plate on and the pocket. Um, I'm going to do this smaller um, library pocket right on the front of the airmail envelope. I go a little heavy on the glue when I'm when I'm gluing down something that has stitching on it just just to make sure that the um, the glue penetrates through the thread. Okay, and then just kind of line that up at the bottom. Whoops.
Okay, stay. Okay, that's what I love about the art glitter glue is how quickly it dries. So I might still do some stitching on that. Um, I'm not gluing everything or I'm not binding this yet. So, um, and then I want to add a little bit of kind of like contrast between this craft paper and that craft paper. So I'm going to glue one of these on here. Um, yeah, one of these little guys. I'm going to glue the one that I've already inked. I decided not to do stitching on these just because there's, you know, it's not a huge opening anyway. And, you know, to, to do stitching around the edges of it, it just makes it even smaller. So, and then I thought, well, okay, I'll just glue them down really well. And then, um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I know this is, this video is kind of all over the place, but. I promise that I would kind of video as I'm putting these together. So any of the glue that kind of seeps out around the edges, I like to kind of mop it up, even though this glue does dry clear. So <clears throat> in case you guys didn't know, they make two different um, formulas of this glue. There's one that actually does dry white. And there's one that dries clear. So if you order this, make sure you get the one that dries clear. Um, because it is intended to use with glitter, certain types of glitter look better on glue that dries white. So that's, you know, that's why they do that. Um, these still need to have the magnets done. So I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. And then I think... I think I'm just going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to put this one here. I'll put this library pocket here. And, okay, so I'm not sure about that other coin envelope, where I want to put it. So here's what I'll do. I will... I'll ask you guys to tell me where you think I should put that and I'll give you the options here in just a second. Um, because I honestly, I don't know, but one of two places. Okay. So that goes there. This still needs to get trimmed open and notched. So do I put this here on this little flap? Or I could put it on the front. No, I don't like that. As I don't want to cover up this collage. Um, so these are the options. On the inside back flap or should I put it here on on the um the center envelope so the inside back flap or the center envelope which one should i put this on you guys tell me and i can leave that blank i might actually um you know collage a little bit of like grid paper or something like that on there just to make that like a little writing space um and then yeah i think that'd be nice and I'm going to add like a label or something on this. So, yeah. So you guys let me know what you think. <laughs> and whatever gets the most votes, that's where I'll put it. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm not going to glue it down yet until I hear back. So I'll just stick it in now. Okay. So that, see how this kind of is like open a little bit? And I kind of like that. Like it just makes it feel like it has more room, you know, but it's actually glued down really well. So, and then as far as closure, um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I might do an elastic that goes around this way, um, but I think I need more elastic to do that. Um, and then we're going to make a little journal that'll go in here also. 
And then I can't decide. I still haven't decided if I'm going to do the pocket signature in the back or the front. I kind of want to put it in. God, it's that's a toss up. So what do you guys think? Should I should I do the the envelope signature in the front or the back? Um, because I'm just going to do a single signature little journal to go in here too. And I am going to stitch them in. I decided I'm not going to do them with the elastic. I'm just going to bind them in there. So, okay. So that is, that's where I'm at with these little guys. And I may add more elements later on. I don't know. We'll see. And then I definitely want to make some tags and things like that to kind of go with the theme, you know? So yeah, so I'm going to get busy finishing these and doing the magnets on these and trimming all of these and trimming these and putting the book plates on. And then next video, we'll just kind of see where I'm at. Okay. All right, you guys. And any questions, leave them in the comments because I'm sure that I forgot something that I should be telling you. Um, and then in the next video, I will try to answer whatever those questions are. So if you're looking for these exact supplies um, and envelopes and stuff, um, I do have a ton of these bags and a ton of these bags. And I also have a ton of um, green file folders that I could that I could maybe do a pack. And then I do have tons of library pockets too. And actually lots of this size envelope. I could maybe do an envelope pack, like a supply pack for this. If you guys would like, I also have a whole bunch of the little craft coin envelopes. So, so let me know if you would like me to put together a pack. I could maybe do like, I don't know, like 20 of them. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would like. And then um, maybe I'll do like a little kit or something. So if I get, if I get much interest, uh, let me know and I'll just put together whatever I can. So, okay guys. I love you. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening to me ramble. And um, yeah, talk to you soon. And I love you. Okay. Bye for now.